He is a mysterious genius. He is one of a hundred living geniuses of the modern era. He is a member of the Golden Guild of the International Academy of Modern Art in Rome. He is also considered by art critics to be Ukraine's number one surrealist and the patriarch of Ukrainian avant-garde. He created 11 cycles of paintings that fascinate visitors of numerous exhibitions with the godlike talent of an artist inspired by nature and the grand duo of the universe. His name is Ivan Marchuk. He is the only one for me. It is probably a subjective opinion, but I consider him a true genius, and I'm very proud of him. His hand is easily recognized among all other artists. Some unknown force guides his hand or brush. I am at a loss for words to describe him. Although he may change his style, you can always feel that this is Marchuk. He is and will be, and his creativity exists independently of him. For all people interested in Ukrainian art, the name Ivan Marchuk comes first to mind. Ivan Marchuk is a very tender, romantic and poetic artist. He is a painter of one day, if to take human life as one day. It is the day of happiness. I think people should be happy to have such artists in the world. I live to be a calendar with no red dates, which means I have no days off. All yard keepers think I'm a strange person when they see me going out at 6 o'clock in the morning every day. I go to my studio, and I'm an absolutely free person. His creative way began 50 years ago with the cycle Voice of My Soul, which he considers the pillar of his creative work. Like a tree in the course of time, he has developed numerous manners of painting that differs in style and thematics. The artist has his creative manner he calls pleontonism that originates from the Ukrainian word pleontat and in English to weave. He was born amidst the rich nature of Ternopil region in the family of a weaver. I returned from the US to Ukraine. I came back to my native land, not to the state, but to my ancestral birthplace. My native village is Moskalivka in the Ternopil region. After graduation from university, I said to myself, I don't want to be an ordinary artist, like many others. I wish to be different and, unlike others, to be appreciated around the world. But the idea to create his own artistic manner came from image of a tree with its branches and twigs and lines, his favorite ochre color of a nut tree growing in the backyard of his parents' house, with the main characters of his first works, wise crows and a magnificent curly elderberry bush. I looked at leafless trees, it was in November, and I was delighted by the beauty around me. Every tree has its anatomy, and it was an image of lace that came at once to my mind. I saw women pulling threads to make a lace, and they all seemed to look at nature through my eyes. He's crazy about grass, weeds, but most of all, he is delighted to see a garden with old apple trees that captivate his imagination. Winter in his paintings is fantastic. I am a master of moonlight and snow landscapes, he jokes. Some people are fascinated with his unique, inimitable technique. Some like his landscapes or simply his artistic craftsmanship. There is a good phrase of Seneca addressed to Socrates. Dear Lucretius, you are constantly rushing around the world, but you can never seem to find peace on earth. But the matter is that you always take yourself with you everywhere you go. I do the same. I paint Ukrainian knights in New York and then bring them back to Ukraine. In the 1990s he worked days and nights in his Manhattan studio, seeking new ways of expression. He was creating the new expression series and desperately longed for Ukrainian landscapes. Since childhood he burned with the desire to become an artist, a great one, at that after all, who dreams of less. And he tirelessly painted, painted and painted. And now all his time is dedicated to painting. 
Today he is a world-renowned master, whose works are displayed in New York and Chicago, as well as in many cities of Canada, Australia and Western Europe. He contributed to world fame and the recognition of Ukraine abroad. After he had experienced life in other countries, he realized that Ukraine was everything to him. He has preserved himself and his works for Ukraine. This is a display of his patriotism. I have no peace. I live now in some absolutely negative space. When I lived abroad, I had no negative emotions. Before that, I was completely ignored in Ukraine for 20 years. And it was a hard experience to feel, as if you never existed here. So I left Ukraine and thought I would never return. But it happened that I came back to my native homeland. I guess it was a calling of my ancestors. Так вышло. Что поделаешь? Земля зов предков. Земля зов предки. Ivan Marchuk, Shevchenko state prize winner, has gained world fame and recognition abroad. Under the Soviet Union his art was not recognized for a long time. He went through hardships and public distrust to himself as an artist. He was labeled a nationalist, placed under constant surveillance of the authorities and suffered from other methods of repression of the totalitarian regime. In Soviet times Ukraine for me was like my stepmother, but even today it never became my natural mother. I'm a free artist, as they say, flying in the heavens. His painting is a painting of a rider who is riding a horse alone. He is an artist who was not taken seriously earlier and who is still little understood today. There is such a notion of envy that accompanied him throughout his entire life in Ukraine. More than 10 years of his life were wasted as he was simply barred from painting. This artist of unique and rare talent was barred from creative work for 10 long years. Naturally, he felt resentment, despair, fear and even didn't want to live. But he survived, amazed millions of people and won their hearts with the magic of his works. He is happy because his happiness was confirmed by the artistic victory he gained at the cost of the bitterness of life, doubts and suffering. But all this resulted in his victory. We are pleased to know that his exhibition in Arsenal will be yet another testimony to the correctness of his creative work. He created his own world of the vice artist Ivan Marchuk, across which he roams and transcends traditional barriers. His works convey a meaningful message, in them we feel space, an endless universe and fascination with eternal peace. Ivan Marchuk is a person who, for me personally, I think, Ivan Marchuk is a person who opened a special part of Ukrainian space to the world. I remember my first impression of his works that were quite unique. Seeing them, you come to realize how rich the inner life of human being truly is. I opened the way to the sky and saw what a fantastic picture was up there. I cut it into fragments and then began putting them back together to make one whole, just like a puzzle. I joined them and they look so beautiful. I need more time to make such pictures than I do to make landscapes. You can see no sign of a brush stroke or a line and nothing, and everything is mysterious in these pictures. Nobody knows how it was done, even painters. His name is the subject of legends. They say he is quite inaccessible for communication and haughty, but most of his critics were irritated by his independent spirit. Critics, mostly Soviet ones, are not inclined to write about me because they don't know how to approach me. They still avoid writing something positive about me, because people in Ukraine are still obsessed with black envy that will never allow this country to become a real state. Never. Marchuk is an incredible strain, an utmost sincerity. While there are many secrets and codes in his paintings, he is truly a national painter. For 12 years of emigration he traveled half the world, but didn't find a better place for inspiration than Ukrainian land, with its nation's wisdom, derived from a centuries-old history.
достаточно близки ранние работы его 60-х годов, то есть тот Марчук, которого мы знаем. I like his early works that are closer to my Ukrainian mentality. I know from literature and song that there is something that comes from within, and it is what you are born with. Possessing deep philosophical world vision, the artist creates pictures of great upheavals of our own epoch. His works are full of unique expression. He never stops to improvise, believing that art and jazz music simply cannot exist without improvisation, that should be infinite and never ending. Ukrainian modern music has much in common with Ivan Marchuk's works. His paintings are full of fantasy. Music compositions by Stankovich and Skorik have much in common with Marchuk's paintings. Looking at his pictures, you come to better understand music that is genetically close to us. At the same time, music helps understand his paintings. He has numerous exhibitions in the best galleries all over the world, but he never forgets to show his works in Ukraine. They number over 5,000 pieces. Very few painters are given such a great attention and loved by the public as Marchuk. He is a person with a difficult creative fate. Something great was promised to him. But the most significant thing he did as a human being and patriot of Ukraine is that he didn't disperse his creative works, but instead preserved them. But his thoughts today about his homeland, people and the state are gloomy and morose. He grieves about Ukraine, blames and gets angry with it, but he never stops loving it and forgives all offenses. That's why Ivan Marchuk remains with us here, among Ukrainians. I recently read his sad interview and was glad to learn about this exhibition that should help improve his pessimistic mood. His age and difficult situation in Ukraine have a negative effect on his mood. People listen to him and believe in him because they feel sincerity, sincere pain and love. He is a philosopher, a prophet. I understand why my friend is pessimistic about our life, because he always led a secluded life that was full of suffering. It was hard for him to suffer torments, to face resistance and misunderstanding, and prove that you have the right to create what you want wish and to be a free artist. Ukraine is abundant in talented people. It is a land with the largest percentage of talents born per square meter. Where are they? Ukraine has the best soil in the world but it fails to cherish its own talents. We need to genetically change the Ukrainian nation and remold the mentalities in its people, because they are rapidly spinning towards degeneration. Ivan Marchuk got accustomed to being called a genius. He's a world-recognized artist. His technique is unique and his admirers hope his talent will be recognized and appreciated in Ukraine. His masterpieces will finally get their home museum and be exhibited and preserved in Ukraine. In 2005, the foundation of the Ivan Marchuk Museum was laid, but it is still under construction today. It is art and high-level culture that can help recover optimism and make it grow. If there are artists in the country like Marchuk, there is Ukraine, and they will be around forever. I want to fall in love, as I have never been in love before, and I believe all the best is ahead for me, because I had no time to live a normal life. I only painted and worked all my life.